ओके तो आई सिंपली पुट द बिफोर क्लास माइनस आफ्टर क्लास एंड क्लिप विथ माई स्टडी एरिया एंड आई शो द चेंज हेयर यू कैन सी हेयर जस्ट पुट हेयर द चेंज मैप In this time, we are not put any kind of classification. Okay, we are just call the map. Okay, you can see I already make the map about that NDVI map 2020, and already make the map for NDVI map for 2015. In this time, without classification, without classification, mainly you can see we make the classification and make the change detection. But in this time, we are not put any kind of uh, classification. Directly we subtract before class and after class and clip with our study area. So in this time you can see we can get this type of map. So it means that this type of region is the vegetation loss. Okay, this type of red color identify about that vegetation loss, and this type of red color identify about the vegetation gain. Green color identify about the vegetation gain, and this type of the things about about the vegetation change mainly it's the loss or decrease the vegetation, and this type of region is the change for an increasing the vegetation. Okay. So now I want to check how much vegetation increased for a specific thresholding. Suppose from the change map, I want to check about that how much vegetation greater than zero point four. Okay, for that I just simply take a variable and call the change map, call the change map, and I took only for the greater than zero point four NDVI value and self marks with the, for removing the background. So click to the run in this time, and also add the layer about that. In this time, we can see we can get only for those place which place vegetation have greater than zero point four changed, and it show the changed map. Okay, it means that this type of zero point four vegetation is changed because I I already make the subtraction before class and after class. So here you can see we can get this type of changed vegetation. Okay, so you can see this type of vegetation area will be changed. It changed between this time period, year of two thousand fifteen to two thousand twenty. Can see this type of vegetation is the change greater than zero point four, and this type of vegetation is the zero point four, and this type of vegetation is changed between this time period, year of two thousand fifteen to two thousand twenty. From here, and I will check how much area will be changed. So for doing these things, we are just calculate the area. Same process. Just take a variable pixel area. I call the vegetation. Multiply with e dot times the pixel area, and further we calculate the area. The same process. And further convert the area in square kilometer. So now we can get that how much vegetation changed. In this time, we can got that. Okay, it it shows the square kilometer, uh, square meter unit. So I convert it square kilometer and print that. So now we can get the result square kilometer. We find out one hundred twenty four square kilometer area change the vegetation, which is greater than zero point four pixel of NDVI. Okay, so it's another way to calculate the change detection. So if you want, you can make the classification according to the thresholding technique, the different types of range of vegetation, or if you want, you can just apply the 
um, just apply the uh, classification with a uh, change without classification. We just simply put at the before class and after class. And then further, we take a thresholding technique. In this time, I consider all of those vegetation greater than 0 0.4. And then a self marks. Okay. So from the changed map, I just take only for the 0 0.4. I find out this type of 0 0.4 vegetation is changed. Okay. Then how much area will be changed? We find out the total 124 square kilometer area vegetation will be changed between these two time period year of 2015 to 2020 okay so this is the process about the vegetation change we can easily do it from here and this is the process for land use land classification map okay and also hyperparameter training we already discussed about that so i will send you all of those practice code and also send you the recorded class you also try to practice and do further this type of analysis for your own study area and further when you face any problem regarding any issue you can get the lifetime teaching support don't worry about that anytime you can easily uh you can before that you can also contact with me when you are available to join okay then we also fix the time for your problem solving because we are also providing the lifetime problem solving facilities so that's why anytime when you face any problem before that you can just simply contact with me then we will uh take a time for your problem solving with the google meet or anyway we try to solve your problem so when you face any problem regarding issue you can simply contact and uh, i will uh, put all of assignment in our google classroom for all of this you can easily find out from the google class work you try to submit all of those assignment and then try to and get the e certificate from us okay and when you face any problem regarding any issue just simply contact with me i hope you can easily get the solution about that okay so anyone any question or any doubt? Okay, any question? No, no sir. Okay, so if there's no question, you try to practice and further, uh, if you want to join our uh, advanced online training programs such as deep learning or machine learning, you can easily get the notification from our youtube channel or also get the notification from the your whatsapp group then if you want you can also continue for the more advanced online training on the geospatial industry and you can easily learn a lot of things from us and before that try to complete all of those things from uh, google earth engine okay then uh, step by step you try to learn more more details about that okay okay so any question I don't have any question. Okay, so if there are no question, then uh, okay, so I will send all of this material. You try to practice and then further face any problem, then contact with me. I hope you can easily get that live teaching support. Okay, so today is no more. Thank you everyone for joining this online training program. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir.